Hi everyone, Nina here and today I am so excited to create with you these amazing art journal pages and to tell you all the secrets how to create a stunning art journal page. First of all, your background. So you're gonna start by creating your background. You can use watercolors or here I'm using my uh, dilution inks to create these mushing techniques. And I'm using two colors or three colors uh, uh, on each page. I want them to be matching colors. And you try your best to make it light colors. You don't want it to be uh, uh, too dark and you don't want it to be so busy. I'm going to use um, my focal points that are going to be some stamped images and some paper elements from a sophisticated release of Art by Merle. Here I stamped them because I'm going to color with watercolors. I stamped them with Versafine Onyx Black ink. And uh, I'll leave the link down below for my Instagram account where I left the video of how I colored this you know, little critter. I, I'm also showing you that I left my stamps where they were on my stamping platform. So after coloring, I do again ink my stamps and stamp the stamped image pop. Second secret is create more texture that will make your background look more rich. Here I'm using uh, again some Art by Merlin uh, doodling texture stamps. Uh, I'm using colors that some are black because my uh, sentiments are going to be in black and some col colors also that are darker than my background, so they will all match. Here I'm uh, creating a dark blue, I think it was faded jeans, they're all archival inks. And I also used the uh, uh, hickory smoke, these are distress inks, they're not oxide. And here is the, I'm using uh, the same technique on all my backgrounds. I created six, but I'm going to end up using only four, but I'm gonna leave then, so uh, the rest, so I might need them for upcoming projects. Don't forget that all the materials and the tools that I'm going to be using today are going to be linked down below in the description. So if you want to check any of them, you can find it. One of my secrets, I always like to frame my page. It's either by drawing a frame or by doing this technique, holding the ink pad and going all around my edges to ink my edges. Here are the elements that I'm going to use, some are paper elements. Another secret is after you stamp the uh, textures of the uh, doodling stamps, I always like to add some fine touches. I always bring my um, white gel pen or my acrylic markers. These are fine tip acrylic markers and I always color them uh, with colors that match my image. So I know which, uh, which uh, uh, paper element is going to go on this page. So I'm trying to find colors from my acrylic markers that match my image and I use it. The image has yellow because her hair is yellow and it also has this uh, aqua color from the waves. So I'm using these to uh, color and give some fun to my background. That will make the background even more interesting. I'm going to do the same thing for all the pages. Here we're going to have the grandma. Uh, I'm sorry if you're hearing my kids, they have their friends over. I'm keeping them in another room, but I guess you can still hear them. So some of my doodling stamps here uh, are these little pots that I colored, they look so pretty and matches perfectly with the idea of a grandma. Uh, another secret is, I want you to set the scene for your focal element. So if your element is a person, always give him a ground. Um, if it's a, an airplane or a bird, give him either a branch to stand on or put some um, clouds around him. Here, my fish tank, should be actually having a table or something like that, but I thought I'll add these couple. I just wanted to go crazy and I added these couple uh, scraps of papers uh, that I added on them, the same ink that I used to stamp the texture on the background. And after I stick, I stick them both with the glue, then I'm going to cut uh, the excess that is hanging out. And then I'm going to come back with the same um, ink pad that I used for the edges and I'm going to do the same thing ink the edges of the new added uh, background so here is the next secret give dimension to your focal point or paper element I'm going to do the same thing for all these pages so here I'm going to uh, add some dimension for the 
critter here, the crab. I think I'm going to add the, the sentiment, let's party. So he is happy and he's having these sort of fireworks on the background behind him. So I'll always give my focal point dimension. Here I used foam tape behind them and also using foam tape behind my waves here and also the uh, bathtub so it can pop even more. Here I'm adding these uh, strips of foam uh, tape and then I'm going to add my waves here, same thing. And for the bathtub, I'm going to add foam tape on the top part and I'm going to use just a liquid glow on the bottom part. So she's stuck behind the waves and at the same time she has that, that dimension on top. For the next secret, always embellish your art journal after you're done with everything. Here I'm adding the sentiments and I also went through all the pages I added and I embellished them all. You either can use enamel dots, gems, glossy accents, whatever it is, whatever you find and that matches your uh, art journal page. Here is um, the grills in the bathtub with the waves. Here I also added enamel dots. They're somehow glittery and matching with the uh, background. And here I used stickers, uh, alphabet stickers that says grandma was right. And I gave dimension on the right with the dark color and on, and on the left with the white color. And so for the last secret, always decide how you want to store your art journal pages. So it's either in a binder or uh, if, if it's a flimsy paper, you need to back it with something and put it in an art journal that you already created or create your own from scratch. Always end up doing something with it. Don't just leave them hanging on your desk. They're gonna end up in your drawer. But if you care and give some extra time to create an art journal or um, uh, a binder or use a binder that you already have, which is the case here that I'm going to show you the binder again. It's from Simple Stories. And, but I thought that I wanna add a black background to frame the, uh, each page. And I cut these papers so to leave a little bit, I think, less than quarter an inch around uh, all the edges of each paper and then I left I left it a little uh, I gave it more height than my page so I can have an enough space to punch the holes where it's going inside the binder and when I finished I thought uh, why don't I give some color to that black part on top so I decided to bring my eyelets and I'm going to add these eyelets and I'm trying to find a matching color from the image itself. I thought I used a uh, pink when I was coloring the crab. So I thought I'll use these uh, pink eyelets. I'm going to do the same thing for the other pages. For the grandma, I found the heart um, shaped eyelet. So I used it and on the other side, I used a um, round, just regular round one. For the green page, I used two green stars, sort of a yellowish green stars. And uh, I used the aqua eyelets for the one with the bathtub. And here is my binder and I'm just, it, it had these um, plastic sleeves and I'm gonna remove them and I'm gonna use it for my um, art journal pages. These are the extra ones that I created. I'm gonna keep them because I wanna fill this art journal with a lot of this binder with a lot of art journal pages and I'm just putting um, placing my art journal pages inside the binder and let's go for a quick flip through and I'm gonna create more similar pages to this look how cute the binder is it's uh, it's for four by four pages so here is the first one the little crab and the fish and they're partying under the ocean for this I didn't ground the image because I wanted it to to show that they are in the middle of the ocean. And here is the grandma also grounded her where this um, uh, washi tape and a little like a hell sign. And here is my fish tank with the inspired crate. It's just a sticker that I have. The sentiments are stickers that I have. 
And here is the little girl doing the unexpected with the bathtub in the ocean or something. I had so much fun creating these art journal pages with you guys today and I hope you did too. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!